my name is Dr. Clark, Vice President of Global Publishing at De Gruyter. I'm particularly pleased to take this opportunity to share with you some wonderful new major references, in particular our new religion, theology and history databases. Each are unique and rich references for scholars working in theology, history and philosophy. First up, the works of Paul Tillich. This will be available in German and upon completion in English. Then an extensive biography and bibliographic database on German-speaking Jewish artists, socialites, scientists, and intellectuals from the 18th to the early 20th century. Then research on the concept and reality of religion and urbanity. And then finally, at Jewish and Christian relations throughout the centuries. These are their topics. I hope you enjoy the following highlights from the content of our four new religion, history, and theology databases. Paul Tillich's books, Sermons, and Commentary on Human Existence, Faith, Doubt, the Concept of God, and Ethical Questions of His Time, struck a chord with his audiences in post-war America and Europe, and they remain important to this day. Tillich Online will make Tillich's complete works electronically accessible in German and English for the first time. The German-born theologian and philosopher Tillich immigrated to the U.S. in 1933 after losing his teaching position at the University of Frankfurt in the early Nazi regime. Theologian Reinhold Niebuhr invited him to teach at Union Theological Seminary in New York, where Tillich would work until his retirement in 1955. Publications based on his lectures, especially Systematic Theology and The Courage to Be, made him widely known, not just to scholars, but also to political leaders as well as the general public. Tillich joined the faculty of Harvard University and later the University of Chicago and continued to publish his work until his death in 1965. Tillich Online will include Paul Tillich's collected works and the supplementary and literary estate volumes in its first release, original English language content and English translations of his German works will be added in annual updates until the database is complete. German-speaking Jewry has left an immense intellectual and cultural legacy. They were correspondents for newspapers, wrote poetry, novels and plays. They were musicians and composers, and natural scientists whose discoveries changed how we would treat patients until today. Their works in philosophy and economy led to deep changes in how we viewed nations, their people, work and social responsibility, and they were artists. There are many more known Jewish German writers and intellectuals whose contributions are integral to the world of arts, culture and research, but there are even more who are less well known and whose rich work should be rediscovered. Against the backdrop of a rise in anti-Semitism and the persecution of Jews in Nazi Germany, as well as the following emigration wave starting in the 1930s, the heritage of German Jews is scattered. A variety of collections, databases and platforms around the world are devoted to the topic, but they are mostly unconnected, sometimes only available for a few years while funding is secured. The database ABJ Online presents in one place the biographical data and bibliographical details of the written work of 20,000 Jews who contributed not only to literature, philosophy and religion, but also to science, arts, music and politics. Based on the Archive Bibliographia Judaica in Frankfurt, the database offers a unique documentation of the German Jewish heritage, making available more than 250,000 bibliographical record sheets. An interface to the Judaica collection of the Frankfurt University Library, one of the world's most important Judaica library collections, will link the biographical and bibliographical data to the author's original works. Further modules, for example, on Jewish women academics are planned, helping to make ABJ a central reference point for everyone who deals with German Jewish history and culture.
What do cities like Jerusalem, Wittenberg, Geneva, Constantinople, Rome, Mecca, Zarnath, and Budna have in common? All of them have been sites of pivotal changes in the history of religion, Judaism and Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and the many strands summarized as Hinduism. At the same time, these and other pilgrimage cities, but also trading centers like Surat, Hamburg, and Lyon, owe their cityscapes and ways of life cultivated and constantly changing within them to religious actors, practices, and ideas. The database Religion and Urbanity Online presents research and case studies of peoples and places, exploring religious change and change of urban spaces from the antiquity to the present. The authors show that the interdependence of urbanization processes and religious change is not just a phenomena of the present, but has recurred time and again throughout history. Religion and Urbanity Online provides historians, anthropologists, and sociologists with an interdisciplinary and trans-regional resource on the mutual formation of urbanity and religion. Jewish-Christian relations look back on a complex history shaped by conflict, persecution, but also dialogue and social and cultural exchange. The past decades have brought striking achievements. New initiatives all over the world are dedicated to addressing central interreligious and intercultural issues. The Encyclopedia of Jewish-Christian Relations Online explores more than 2,000 years of Jewish-Christian interaction, covering not only theological concepts, but also geography, politics, art, and spiritual and religious practices. For example, how do we eat, drink, pray, bless, and why? What is law, and who provides it? How and why do we marry, and how do we welcome new members to our communities? The scope of the database makes it a rich reference for scholars and students of various backgrounds, providing valuable insight and new avenues for interreligious dialogue. The encyclopedia is written specifically from the perspective of Jewish-Christian relations. Its editorial and advisory board is made up of Jewish and Christian theologians, professors of philosophy, history, religious and biblical studies, and social ethics.